So listen, welcome back to Conscious Reality, where we speak the good stuff, the good conversations, love, relationships, and spirituality. We put all three together, and we get the good stuff, the good vibrations. So I get a question all the time. I get questions all the time. And one of my most popular questions is, I've been dating a guy for four years, or three months, or two weeks, a year. I don't know how long. But he told me that he's not ready for a relationship. What can I do to make him ready? What should I be doing to make sure when he's ready, I'm available? What should I be doing to make sure he's ready? Can I speed up the process? Let me tell you this. It's still gonna be a very short video. It ain't nothing that you can do. When a man tell you that he's not ready for a relationship, he's literally specifically talking about you. And let me explain why. I don't even need to explain why. A man becomes ready if, he, if he's not ready when he meets the woman that he's ready for. Or when he meets the woman that he wants. Let me say that again. A man becomes ready, even if he's never even thinking about it, when he meets the woman that he wants. It is that simple. When a man says he's not ready for a relationship, he's talking about you specifically. A lot of times, yes, it might be about 1% of men who say, I just left a relationship, but I don't want to be committed right now. If that's the case, why are you sleeping on him? See, a lot of women, you all like to sleep with a man who say he's not ready to speed up the process. Sleeping with a man do not speed up the process. Spe sleeping with a man do not make a man want you. I promise you. I mean, yes, it may, he wants you physically. He wants you sexually. But sleeping with a man does not make he want to be with you in a relationship. It just makes him horny. It makes him orgasm. It makes him sexually happy or satisfied. That's it. When a man says he's not ready, the conversation should be hot. Stop, stop, left, face, go. A lot of you hurt yourself. A lot of you keep hurting yourself and will continue to hurt yourself as you wait for a man to get ready to be with you. A man will never be ready to be with you because you are not the reason. It was not the reason. A relationship was not the reason why he spoke to you in the first place. It wasn't the reason why he approached you in the first place. He approached you for that specific thing. Sexual experiences. Sex. Hit. Experience. That's it. That's why he approached you. Because why would he approach you when he's not ready for you? Why would he approach you? Right? Why would he? Think about it. Let's be logical. Why would he approach you? Talk to you. Date you. Take you out. And then tell you that he's not ready. It's like prepping something to not cook. It's like you prep, it's like you went to the store, bought some chicken, seasoned it, marinated it, set it over the side, just not to cook it, ever. It makes no sense, right? So a man won't approach you and do all these things and then say, I'm not ready. Why did he approach you? He didn't approach you for that reason. You are going to have some common sense. Listen, get out of your feelings and get into logics. Get out of your feelings and think, why would he do all this? Because the reason why he came at you was not to be with you. It was to get what he wanted. A lot of these men, again, like I said before, a lot of these men are in their survival um, experience. They're in a survival mode. They are in survival mode. They want sex to survive. Without sex, they cannot survive. Without sex, they cannot elevate. Without sex, they don't feel good. Their egos don't feel good. Without sex, they don't feel like a man. Remember, nothing makes a man feel better than a woman, especially when a man who can't control his own ego, when he can't control his life, when he has lost control in his life, when he has no control of his finances. A woman makes him feel better. And therefore, he goes from woman to woman to woman to make him feel better. Understand, when a man tells you that he's not ready for a relationship, he means for you, he doesn't want you. Because if the right woman comes that he wants... Forget about him just being hurt. Forget about he just breaking up from a relationship. Men don't do that. Men don't work that way. We don't do all that stuff. Women do. Men don't. Forget about all that. Nobody will have the perfect opportunity and says, I'm not ready for it. Think about it. If you have, if the perfect opportunity come to you, would you say no? You probably won't. He won't either. If you were the perfect opportunity, he would say yes. But that's not what he picked you for. He picked you to pick you. He want to pick your flowers. 
and then throw you back out in the garden. Understand. Some of you all keep trying. You think that the more I try, the more I do. Listen. Listen. If somebody don't already want you, you can't do more of what they already don't want or already don't appreciate for them to keep you. You cannot give somebody more of what they already don't appreciate to love you or be with you. Please don't do that. Because you are messing up your own worth. You're messing up your own value. You're messing up your own expectations. You're messing up your own self. Many of you keep hurting yourself because you are doing more because somebody told you what you was given enough. You are doing more because somebody is telling you, if you do this, if you... Listen, number one, listen. As a man, I'm telling you straight up, as a man, I ain't a, if I can't give you all of me, if I can't give you what you deserve, if I can't give you the full thing, I'm not giving you any. Because I'm not going to be with you and say, well, you don't, I'm, be, I'm with you, I sleep with you, I have kids with you, but you're not the wife material. Then why am I there? That means I ain't the husband material either. I'm garbage, I'm trash. Listen, you all be playing these games. I'm not going to sleep with you because my worth, because that messes up my worth too, my value. If I value myself as a man, I'm not going to sleep in a house with you. I'm not going to be with you, produce kids with you, and then tell you, you know what, you're not there yet. You're not a wife material. Well, then what am I doing there? That means your value equal mine. That means if you don't see value here, then my value is shit too. And some of you all be continuing these relationships thinking one day, he might change his mind. One day he might be the man that one day stop doing that. That's disrespectful to your own self. That's disrespect. And you know you don't feel good because you never know where you stand in the relationship. You never know where you stand. When a man tells you that he's not ready for a relationship, again, he is talking about you specifically. Grow up. Get your ass up and go. Listen, I said this one day. And people hate when I say this. One man's trash is another man's trash if you don't decide to heal. If you're waiting for a man, something is going on. Because there's a whole bunch of us out there. And if he was good, like you thought, he would see your value. He would recognize your value. As a matter of fact, let me tell you this. Let me, let me say this. Let's be real. The only way I see your value is because is if I see mine. Let me say that again. The only way for me to see your value is for me to see mine. I only see my value. I see your value through, my, through me, through my mind, through my value. I only see your value through mine. If I don't value me, I cannot value you. I cannot see value outside of me. I can only see value within me. And if I value myself and respect myself, then my choices must be the same. My choices must be valuable. My choices and my desires will match my worth, my frequency. Match. I'm telling you, if a man doesn't see your worth or your value, or if a woman don't see your worth or your value, it's because they don't value themselves first. I, You only see what you are. If you are love, you see love. If you are value, you see value. You're not going to waste nobody's time. You're not going to tell somebody, well, you know, you ain't it. Yet, still entertaining them. No, that's not how it works. So if you wait for somebody to see your value, it's because they can't see theirs. And instead of wanting them to see your value, you should want them to see their value. If a man or woman values themselves, if a man or woman loves themselves, then that's when they can value and love you. A lot of you all are messing with people Men and women who don't value themselves. So of course, they can't see value outside of themselves. As within, so without. If you don't see value inside, you can't see value outside. And as you wait for somebody to see value in you, you are whooping your own ass. Stop being in places where I broke you. Stop being in places where you know for a fact you don't belong. Stop being in places where you know you are fighting for attention. You are fighting for efforts. You are fighting for love. Those things are basic needs. They are basic. They're not even that great. It's just those are when somebody like you, naturally they want to give you attention. Naturally they give you affection. Naturally they respect you. That's, that's the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Some of you doing the bare minimum. Some people be doing the bare minimum and think that they're doing something huge. No, you're doing the bare minimum. Loving me is a bare minimum. Loving me... 
It's simple because you should love you. You should carry love. So loving me shouldn't be that hard. Respecting me shouldn't be that hard because you should respect, period. I have the same God as you have in you. Giving me affection and time is the bare minimum for somebody who like each other. Basic. Some of y'all be fighting for the basic and think just because you get the bare minimum, you think that you are loved or you are special. Listen, that's a bare minimum, man. Don't stop giving people. You know, sometimes the best thing to do, the best way, when somebody, when everything that you do is not enough, when somebody don't, when somebody's not giving you, listen, when you are giving somebody all of you and it's not enough, the best thing to do is to stop, is to remove yourself, not to try harder. Not to try harder. Not being enough doesn't mean to try harder. Let me say that again. Not being enough doesn't mean to try harder. It means to remove yourself. And when we start to do that, people are going to value you. Don't cross your own boundaries. Respect your boundaries. Respect yourself. I'm telling you, when a man says he's not ready for you, please, not take that to be personal. He's not ready for you. Nothing that you can do to make him ready. Some women wait for years to make to make sure he's ready. He'll be ready for someone else, and you're going to still be the side chick. A lot of you all, even though you wait, even though you wait for five years, he's going to still put somebody ahead of you and still keep you on the side, and some of you all stay, waiting for your turn. Man, that's embarrassing. Because he's not ready for you. He will never be ready for you. A man who's never ready for you will never be ready for you. If he's not ready for you now, he will never be ready for you again. I promise you. And maybe I'm wrong about 5% of the time. 5%. I might be wrong. Y'all, if you, listen, by the way, before I continue, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Thanks for your support. Hope you have a beautiful day. You all understand. It's a man code I'm giving. Learn it. Understand it. Because it's damn serious. Peace.